The human mind is a wonderful but scary place. If you are left to your own thoughts for too long without openly speaking to anyone, your opinion may be clouded by uncertainty and overthinking. The awareness behind mental well-being has risen dramatically in recent years, especially over the course of the pandemic. It is a very important topic to be spoke about, especially in young people, which is why I've decided to make this video today. You may see my channel as money orientated that focuses on personal finance and stocks, but I started making videos with the intent to help people, whether that is making and saving money or in other aspects of life. Although my audience isn't the largest, I want to use the platform I have as best I can to spread positivity and help somebody that could need it. Recently, a very sad event occurred in the local community and I want to make this video to clarify the importance behind mental health and raise awareness for anybody that may also be suffering. No matter how tough it gets, you are not alone. There are always people out there that love and care for you. Despite what you may think, sometimes nobody is perfect. We all have our own issues because at the end of the day, we're only human. Depending on the severity of what you are going through, you may be experiencing consecutive bad days, almost as if something is attached to you, rotting away at your brain and you can't just get rid of it. And the majority of the time, these bigger issues that you are facing that are thought about on the daily won't disappear with the click of a finger. It can be a slow process tackling the things that are eating you up on the inside, but there is always Always light at the end of the tunnel no matter how long you think it is. Here are a few methods that can improve your short and long term happiness. I've actually tried these out myself and I can see a big difference in my mental state on a day to day basis so it's worth a listen. Number one is to socialise. Whether this is with friends, family members, work colleagues or even members of the public, socialising has many benefits to mental health. You tend to grow in confidence and build connections with people that can then understand you better as an individual. If if you aren't able to do this in person, the power of technology can provide many solutions. Depending on your preference, you can text, call, FaceTime or even play video games with anybody across the world. The online space provides a huge network of links which you can access with just a click of a button. Number two is probably the most important one on my list and that is to exercise. There are so many benefits to this point so I'm going to summarise them the best I can. Regular exercise can have a profoundly positive impact on depression, anxiety and ADHD. It also relieves stress, improves memory, helps you sleep better and boosts your overall mood. And you don't have to be a fitness fanatic to reap the benefits. Research in the indicates that even modest amounts of exercise can make a real difference. No matter your age or fitness level, you can learn to use exercise as a powerful tool to help deal with mental health problems, improve your energy and just get more out of life. People who exercise regularly tend to do so because it gives them an enormous sense of well-being. They feel more energetic throughout the day, sleep better at night, have sharper memories and feel more relaxed and positive about themselves and their lives. This is even excluding the physical benefit of improving your overall fitness and aesthetic. Tip number three is to learn a new skill or even pick up on an old one. Research shows that learning new skills can improve your mental well-being by boosting self-confidence and raising self-esteem, helping you to build a sense of purpose and by helping you to connect with others. Even if you feel like you don't have the time or don't need to learn new things, there are plenty of ways that you can bring learning into your life. Here are some options. Try new hobbies that challenge you, such as writing a blog, taking up a new sport or learning to paint. Work on a DIY project, maybe fixing a broken bike, a broken fence or something even bigger. There are lots of free video tutorials online and on YouTube, but unfortunately not on my channel. You could also try taking on new responsibilities in your workplace. Don't feel like you have to force yourself to learn a new qualification or sit exams if this doesn't interest you. I can't say it properly, man. If this, if this does, if this. It's best to find activities that you enjoy and make them a part of your life. And finally at point number four, which contrasts slightly with point number one, is to spend less time on your phone and live in the present. As beneficial as social media can be in terms of keeping in contact with people and learning new information, it can also be a very dangerous and toxic environment that's easy to get trapped in. As biological humans of the animal kingdom, our brain isn't programmed to handle the full exposure of this huge virtual world which we have in front of us today. There are many underlying 
underlying problems with the reliance on technology and the addiction to our phones. This consistent use of our phones and AirPods and technology makes us miss crucial moments in the real world. Treat it like an opportunity cost. Instead of browsing Instagram, you could have been talking to your parents or even reading a book, which will not only help you grow as a person, it will also steer you away from staring at a screen for another four hours. Paying more attention to the present moment can improve your mental well-being. This includes your thoughts and feelings, your body and the world around you. Some people call this awareness mindfulness. Mindfulness can help you enjoy life more and understand yourself better. It can positively change the way you feel about life and how you approach certain challenges. The methods I just listed only cover a small amount of ways that you can treat and improve your mental health. If you are struggling, I hope you managed to take something away from this and if you know somebody that is also struggling, this is your reminder to check up and reassure them. Don't be shy to share this video or make your own post about mental health awareness as the more that is said about it, the better. If you do want somebody to speak to, I am more than happy, whether that's in the comments or a private message. And I'm sure if I am, a lot of people around you are as well. So don't be afraid to speak out. With all that being said, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.